what is good with y'all man so today we're going to be going over what makes a good pass rusher what to look for in a pass rusher of mad 21 now this this really applies to both next gen and last gen um but on next gen it means a lot more but trust me this still matters on last gen so th you know this matters for both gens but just know on next gen you know the stuff that we're going to be going over you know it's the next gen stats right that shit really means something you know what i mean so right if we go over all my pass rushers right um let's like let i'm gonna show you my guys and then we're gonna go to the um the auction store and we're gonna look at some other guys so i can really show you like you know what i mean you'll see what i'm talking about here so like the fridge right what makes a great pass rusher right the first thing you always look at is probably what power move finesse move and speed right well really speed is always gonna matter you don't you definitely don't want to have the most slowest people on the field pass rushing but and this is a D tackle spot too, right? I mean, you got a D tackle with 85 speed. I mean, that's insane, right? Um, but if I'm being real with you, power move and finesse move, I feel like as long as you have like a 95 power move or 94, 95, something close to that, um, you're gonna be fine. Obviously, if anything higher than that is gonna be great, but as long as you have that, you're, you should be able to get instant shed. You should be able to do your thing. But the thing people don't really look at too much is the strength in the weight right you got a guy like the fridge right 99 strength 335 pounds that actually means something right now first of all 99 strength i mean that that because the fridge for me he gets sacks at the d tackle spot i can legit say the man gets sacks and trust me he sacks me a lot too right strength matters a whole lot for linemen offensive linemen and defensive linemen literally for my offensive linemen i run at least 25 brawler on them um I don't put the sprinter on them. I put the 25 brawler on them to get the two plus strength because they need that shit, bro. Um, and then the other thing is the weight, 335 pounds. That actually plays a factor. So the fridge, you know, imagine you could put this guy off the edge. I mean, I don't think he'd be. I don't think you would be able to block him, right? I don't know if you could put him. I mean, obviously you could probably you know in game put him off the edge, but you know, yeah, right. Um, the fridge is a beast, right? And then if we look at my edge rushers, right? I have Fletcher Cox and Reggie White. Yes, I have both of these guys coming off the edge. And I can legit say Fletcher Cox gets pressure off the edge. Now, obviously, I'm going to be getting Derek Thomas possibly today. So, you know, Fletch might not be rushing off the edge. But the point is, right, 85 speed, um, 97 strength, 310 pounds, right, 97 power move. Um, block shed, by the way, it has nothing to do with the pass rush. That's for stopping the run. Like how fast they, you know, not how fast, but like how well those shed against the run. Block shed has nothing to do with the pass, right? Um, but the point is this guy's big, you know, if he goes against, you know, linemen that are weaker than him, not as not, you know, not really close to his weight class. And, you know, he's got the 97 power move. He's going to shed and big flesh definitely gets a lot of sacks, but obviously Reggie white for me gets the most sacks. Um, and if we look at his stats, right? 98 power move, 94 finesse move. So he could go with either one of those moves. He's got 87 speed. So he's definitely not the fastest, but he has that 96 excel, 99 strength is used 291 pounds right so any six foot five right you see the point is you want sh what i'm telling you is what you want to look for is speed wise if you could get a guy around 86 87 speed i i used to always tell you guys 91 or 90 speed minimum if you could get a guy 86 87 speed but he has like 99 strength he's got a really good power move or a finesse move He's got some good weight, like Reggie White, 99 strength. I mean, that's huge, bro, 99. If you get a guy with 99 strength, that is huge. Now, you could also put Brawler on your defensive lineman. I have the 40 out of 40 sprinter, so in order to keep that, I have to have it on my defensive lineman. But I guess I'm offensive lineman. I do have the two plus strength with Brawler on them. So now, we're gonna look at some other pass rushers um, that maybe I've even used, or just we're gonna look at some other guys that, you know, might not get as much pressure as you think they would now obviously lawrence taylor does this because at lawrence taylor they just make his card god like no matter what but um let's look at some other guys here right let's look at some outside linebackers uh who do we have here tj Watt, right let's look at tj Watt. so tj Watt, i've obviously went against him um i've, I've went against a lot of tj watts and i'll be real with you, you know they definitely don't get as much pressure as other guys that i've went against right and, and you look at the stats right 90 speed extremely fast so if he sheds you you know he, he's gonna get you right he, he if he sheds you he's gonna get you right he's got that 96 power move which is really good then he has the 85 strength 
and he's 252 right now weight obviously it's not a huge factor but it is nice and it is nice if you could have a nice husky guy with some speed right um he has the speed so um 85 strength i think is what makes this card not play like the lawrence taylor's not play like some of these other guys you know what i mean and speaking of lawrence taylor let's look at lawrence taylor stats because I, I i really would like to see lawrence taylor stats because the guy sheds no matter what and i think he's just one of the guys where the stats don't matter for him because there's some players where stats don't matter right lawrence taylor look at it right he's got the 95 power move 92 finesse but only 91 strength 237 but i always tell you this there's some cards where you have to throw the stats out the window and they just play better than the stats that's how some cards are lawrence taylor is one of those cards y'all remember javon curse he's another one of those cards that just says fuck the stats he's gonna go get the quarterback there are some cards that are like that tj watt i don't know it's definitely not a bad card but he doesn't play how you would like him to play Derek thomas this is the guy i'm about to get ready to pick up i loved his card when i had it right look at this card right 97 power move 96 finesse he's extremely fast 92 strength he's gonna have 93 with the power up right 243 not bad at all the, what, the point i'm trying to say is right you don't want a guy's strength who is 85 like tj watt 85 strength that's that's not really what you want um you want you definitely want to have 90 and up minimum right the minimum things you want to look for right if you have a lineman that's like 86 87 speed off the edge off the edge not the d tackles um off the edge you want to make sure his strength is extremely high his power mover for the heather has a really good power mover finesse move and you know he hopefully some kind of weight to him you know what i mean if you have a speedy guy then you definitely want to make sure he has a really good power move or a good finesse move and um somewhat decent strength like 90 90 probably not 90 91 92 or 93 you know what i mean something around there probably not 90 um you know what i mean it's something like that so yeah and like i said Derek Thomas. time and if you gotta get a guy with speed and has all that i mean that's that's disgusting you know what i mean so i just kind of wanted to talk to you about what you should be looking for in a pass rusher like d tackle you just want a guy that's big strong you know what i mean like you you want a guy like the fridge you want a guy like the fridge i'm about to have fletcher cox go back to playing d tackle because like i said i'm probably gonna end up picking up Derek thomas today um so yeah that that's basically what you want you know a lot of other stats matter now strength matters weight plays a factor a lot of these things actually matter now madden um in the past they haven't strength never mattered uh weight they didn't they used to not even show the weight you used to have to go on mutt head to see players weight so you know that, that that's good to know and um yeah just wanted to kind of you know give y'all some insight to what makes a player better you know this video could have been pointless for some y'all well oh well you know what i mean the video meant something to somebody out there and that's all that matters but that is gonna do it though man like comment subscribe man if you haven't already make sure you go follow me on twitch it is that bull chris link is in the description no excuse not to be get not to be there you know what i mean i say this every time you know what it is you gotta be in the streams if you're not there man and that's gonna do it though boys i'm out